Civil engineering is deals with the overall interface of human created fixed projects with the greater world. General civil engineers work closely with surveyors and specialized civil engineers to design grading, drainage, pavement, water supply, sewer surface, dams, electric and communications supply. General civil engineering is mainly signify as a site engineering a branch of civil engineering that primarily focuses on converting a portion of land from one usage to another. Site engineers spend time visiting project sites, meeting with stakeholders, and preparing construction plans. Civil engineering is the oldest engineering discipline, which concerned with the design, construction of any structure and provide with suitable serviceability within its economy, which also include maintenance of the physical and naturally built environment like roads, bridges, canals, dams, and buildings. Civil engineering is the second oldest engineering discipline after military engineering. The engineers were engaged to assist the soldiers fighting in the battlefield by making catapults, towers, and other instruments used for fighting the enemy. However, during peacetime, they were concerned mainly with the civil activities such as building fortifications for defense, making bridges, canals, etc. Engineering has been principal part of life since the genesis of human existence. Prior practice of civil engineering may have inaugurated between 4000 and 2000 BC in ancient Egypt, the Indus Valley Civilization, and Mesopotamia when humans started to creating a need for the construction of shelter. The pyramids were constructed in Egypt during 2700 to 2500 BC, and may be considered as the first large structure construction ever. Other ancient historic civil engineering constructions, include the Kanat water management system, to make use of the limited amounts of water in the arid region. The Iranians developed man-made underground water channels called Kanats which is older than 3,000 years and longer than 71 kilometers. The first self-proclaimed civil engineer was John Smeaton, who constructed the Eddystone Lighthouse, who also known as father of civil engineering. Civil engineers usually work in areas such as construction sites, manufacturing plants, laboratories or offices the work requires such engineers to spend a fair amount of time outdoors they may be required to do substantial amounts of technical and computer work as well which necessitates familiarity with different schematics maps and drafting cad software a bachelor's degree in engineering is needed for all engineering jobs at an entry level admissions requirements for undergraduate engineering schools include a solid background in mathematics such as algebra geometry trigonometry and calculus and science such as biology chemistry and physics in addition to courses in english social studies college graduates with a degree in the natural science or mathematics occasionally may qualify for some engineering jobs, especially in specialties that are in high demand. And obtaining a license requires four years of relevant work experience and passing of an examination to receive professional engineer certification. Recent graduates can start the licensing process by taking the examination in two stages. The initial fundamentals of engineering examination can be taken upon graduation. Engineers who pass this examination commonly are called engineers in training or engineer interns.
one construction engineering. This civil engineering branch deals with the planning, construction and maintenance of structures. It also involves planning and execution, transportation of materials, site development based on hydraulic, environmental, structural and geotechnical engineering. 2. Structural Engineering This branch of civil engineering facilitates the analysis and design of structures. Structural engineers are trained to analyze and design a structure that will safely bear the stresses, forces and loads in order to make structure impregnable. 3. Geotechnical Engineering Geotechnical engineering is the study of the behavior of soils under the influence of loading forces. It studies rock and soil supporting civil engineering systems. Knowledge from the field of soil science, materials science, mechanics, and hydraulics is applied to safely and economically design foundations, retaining walls, and other structures. 4. Transportation Engineering Transportation engineering is the application of technology and scientific principles to the planning, design, operation for any mode of transportation in order to provide safe, rapid, convenient, and economical way of transportation. 5. Water Resource Engineering It deals with the design and construction of hydraulic structures, and help to manage human water resources. This area of civil engineering relates to the prediction and management of both the quality and the quantity of water in both underground such as aquifer and above ground resources such as rivers. 6. Environmental Engineering Environmental engineering is the study of environment-friendly designs, purification of water and air, and remediation of contaminated sites after waste disposal or accidental contamination. The main topics covered by environmental engineering are pollutant transport, water purification, wastewater treatment, air pollution, solid waste treatment, and hazardous waste management. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics 2016, civil engineers earned a median salary of $83,540 per year. The lowest 10% earned less than $53,470, and the highest 10% earned more than $132,880. Employment of civil engineers is projected to grow 8% from 2014 to 2024, about as faster than the average for all occupations.
In this advanced world, with population growing and infrastructure aging, civil engineers will expect to have a steady employment in the future. Civil engineers will be needed to manage projects to rebuild bridges, repair roads, and upgrade levees, dams and more.